today. So chat, YouTube, it's time for some more Red Black Reanimator. This is a list that top of the standard challenge 32, I think it was this past weekend. I don't know if they do standard challenge 64s anymore, but it's a pretty sweet list that's trying to reanimate Coma, Petroxa, and Yargavlarg, Valgoboth. Uh, the way we're going to do it is by casting Zombify, which is a 4-mana reanimation spell, new from Foundations, well, old card, but new reprint from Foundations. I also have a copy of Push Pull, times 2. So we can use Pull as like a pseudo double Gorio style effect. So it's from either graveyard, so we can seal our opponent's stuff too, if uh, we run into a matchup where they're putting a lot of big creatures in their graveyard. Uh, but what do we, how do we get there to support it? How do we discard the big giant creatures to reanimate from our hand? Well, we got a couple copies of Bitter Triumph to discard something and kill a threat. We got four copies of Bitter Reunion to give it haste after we reanimate it. We are missing out, also a looting style effect, so you draw a discard. We got four copies of, or sorry, three copies of Breacher, which is for when they have graveyard hate, and it's kind of just like a plan B backup plan. Also just like a good value creature too for that whenever it attacks, you draw a card and make a 1-1 one, one lifelinker. Three copies of Elder Dragon War, which says you could discard any number of cards, draw the many cards uh, for the chapter two. Chapter one is like a pseudo pyroclasm, plus hits your opponent's face as well. And then chapter three makes a four four, so it's also a pretty good way of combating some graveyard hate, but mostly it's just here for the discard plus draw. And you have a couple copies of Cruelty of Gix over here, which is like a pseudo tutor effect that says it's like chapter one Thassis, chapter two is tutor, and then chapter three it's a reanimation spell as well, so. Lots of ways of reanimating, and then for the one drops, you got a couple copies of cut down for some early removal, a couple copies of duress for some hand disruption as well. Uh, you got your giant creatures, the coma, the atroxa. And for the mana base, we got four copies of black loop cliffs for the fast lands and blaze mire verges, because if you can play the verges, you might as well play the verges. One copy of fountain port to get some card advantage in here. A couple copies of mountain, a couple copies of swamp. Some theaters for surveilling, a couple copies of the sulfur springs as well, and one restless fence for a man land. Sideboard, we got two copies of Duress for Hand Disruption. A couple copies of Shieldred for when we need to go into Plan B and your opponent brings in Graveyard Hate. Some Virtues for Early Removal and it's a late game bomb. A couple copies of Abrade for taking out Artifact based Graveyard Disruption like Ghost Vacuum, like Soul Cauldron. Side with the Brotherhood Zand, you could use it for Artifact Removal or you could just use it as a pseudo uh, Sweltering Suns, just three damage to all the creatures. A couple copies of Molten Collapse for Removing Ghost Vacuum as well as removing Planeswalkers because I think this list has a hard time dealing with Planeswalkers. Make it a zoo! Let's hop in here. Uh, we'll keep this. No reanimation target yet, but we got a lot of looters. I don't know what I'm going to discard either. Maybe a FOMO discard Bitter Reunion. I kind of like that. I'm going to do another one anyways. Oh, what is our opponent playing? Naya Colors? It might be the, the full domain deck. Ooh. I don't, don't mind if I do discard the coma. Sex good vibes. Not too difficult to play, just, you know, discard your big threat, reanimate it, see if it's good enough, be content. It was white, green, green. Ah. Uh, it makes the, the everything. Come on down, Koma. They could kill us with a Leyline Binding, which is unfortunate. Land plus Leyline Binding will do it. Or Sunfall. That works too. Ooh, Valgavoth. I wish I had more looters. Actual factual zombify. Three card standard. That's probably about as good as it gets. Hi, and Josie. If you read my creature, that's so rude. Another one. I could haste this in attack, I guess. 
I don't know if that's worthwhile. Naya Overlords is interesting. Zer. That's really bad for me. Alright, I give up. Because that gets to kill this, and then they swing in for like 13, and then make another everything token. Brutal. Let's bring in Duress. Yeah, out the Preacher. I don't even know how good Duress is, though. Sometimes I feel like Duress isn't even that good against these decks, but they are playing Beans. And sniping the Beans, I think, is kind of important. I could also snipe snow Sunfalls or whatnot. Eh, Alright. I think I've sold myself on at least the four Duresses. Maybe one Shelly. Preacher was kind of embarrassing. I don't need this many Bitter Triumphs. I also don't need Cut Down, that's for sure. Oh, Cut Down. Into yeah, it kills Zur, I guess. Maybe one more Shelly, one Preacher. The sideboarding is still not fixed. This isn't inconceivable. Amount of lag. We'll keep this. Not the strongest hand, but it's got a curve. I think that's all I can ask for. Ghost Vacuum and Ley Lime Binding. Let's take the Ghost Vacuum. Now you need a standard deck? Well, welcome! You came to the right place for a standard deck, and congrats on qualifying. Love to hear it. I'm discarding my tap land. Pass the turn. They kept his hand solely off of that ghost vacuum. Another one. Takes my duress. Drew a coma. I wish I kept that tap land. Curve down to Shieldred here would be pretty nice. That Leyline Binding is two mana now. So they can binding the <clears throat> FOMO if they want. Another tap land. not binding the FOMO. Now it does binding the FOMO. Beans. Are they full domain? Also bended overlord. Shelly go. These Overlord piles seem real good. That was a herd migration, gets a forest. Place an Overlord triggers Shelly. I don't have an answer to Shelly, I'm feeling pretty good. I think we're discarding Oma. Elder Dragon War. Attack, cast the Elder Dragon War. I think I'm just gonna do chapter one <laughs> for the shock here. I'll just get some closer to being dead. I can crack this ghost vacuum at some point, so I shouldn't be in a Troxa, probably.
Let's see what they cast here, though. Azur. Damn, that's aggro. That is very, very aggro. I just think I died. Man, they did go back at the 16, though. Um, let's discard these two. It's not like Ghost Vacuum. What do we do here? Kill this. I think I need to kill this as well. Get my FOMO back. Need black mana for this. Drew a coma. They were just attacking for ten here. I reckon a super high roll played this and then tried to hit uh land drop. That's a bit riskier though. You go to four. I can't get in the trucks here. Three two when it enters support three. I don't remember what support does, I'm gonna be honest. Sun falls goes to two. Now that so they did a few things. Boost your creature with plus one plus one counters. Is it like you can distribute them in any way? Go surveilling. Zombify. I think that's a dead card at this point. It'd be nice if they didn't have the ghost vacuum. Alas, I think we're going to lose to the ghost vacuum. They get to make a 1 1 Atroxa and a 1 1 Coma. Let's have something better. It's pretty good. Top deck. We drew a coma. All right. Seems very powerful. I keep this. Yeah, Green Overlord fixes it pretty well too. What is this? The chain of creatures plus one plus one has medicine trample. That seems pretty good. Top of removal spell for sure. The mouse. Can I just use some lands? I got plenty. Thanks, though. I really hope they don't have Boros Charm to save this thing. Mothra will save us. Is he an Elder Demon? Something like that. Yeah, Elder Demon. Elder Demon, Moth, pretty much the same thing.
Ooh, well, that seems better to reanimate. Let's just go chapter one on this Elder Dragon War. <laughs> Next turn, we get the discarded Trox and then Zombify it back. Maybe we're not going chapter one. I think they timed that incorrectly. Good for us, though. Amber Heart Challenger. Sheltered by ghosts. It's gonna have lifelink double strike. Ew. Things cracked. I need removal. I need uh, take the springs for the land. Probably zombify. I already have a coma, so I can take the FOMO, the bitter reunion. I want to take the duress. Now they have one garden in. Alright, hopefully I'll have another sheltered by ghosts because I will die. If I have to trade a Troxa, I'm totally fine trading a Troxa because I have another Zombify. The real armor. Just gonna eat a Troxa now. Seven six. Okay. Eight six. I'm gonna give it trample. I give it double strike. Not quite dead. <clears throat> Getting there, though. I gotta pay the ward. I get the war back. I'll just make a 4 4. This double strike or trample. And they chose double strike. Alright, we're alive. Barely, but we're alive. Pumping into a 3 3. Let up Thunder. And I'm gonna give it double strike. Yeah, you it should be fun. Looking forward to it. As long as I don't die and get the Zombify Atroxa again, I think we're in the clear. Could be A okay here. Can you even high roll? High roll the bit of reunion. Let's discard Elf Dragon War. Oh no, tap black people. That's so sad. Oh, I guess I could have found an untapped land off of a Droxa. That was a mistake. Alright, didn't matter. But it was a mistake. So if I hit the untap land off of a Trox, I give a haze and I attack with both. I get to untap Trox and attack again. Or I could have gotten coma. But now I guess I need to draw the untap land if I want to get the coma back and attack twice with the coma. Alright, mono red. Let's 
bring in the Brotherhood's ends, I think. I just like take my entire sideboard here. These. I don't need all these comas. Maybe I think I have two comas. Push pull's fine because it's removal. This card's okay. I think I can cut like two or three bitter reunions. Not sure I want the Elder Dragon War either. Kick seems slow. I'm just gonna turn into like a black red control deck for the most part. I don't think I want Balgamoth either. Down one Brotherhood's End, just play two of them. I think Brotherhood's End's better against the Convoke decks than it is against this Mono Red Gotal deck. I think it could be okay. I removal on two. And we're discarding a Troxa instead of Coma. There's a pretty good argument for keeping this hand. I really want another duress. I'd rather take like land or zombify. Or take two. Who's the zombify we're looking for? Grand portal on blue. I didn't even know they were playing blue. Uh, no blocks. Take out the Swifty. As hexproof and plus one plus one. I've been gotten. I have been gotten. Let's kill this. Stem the bleeding. And we're taking like two. I'll say top deck. Some pump spell, some burn spell. The mouse. Why is he gonna get double strike? And a counter, so it's attacking me for five. What a bunny. Any blues a misclick? Maybe. It's very possible. We can get a sweeper here. No sweeper. Uh so we get Push pull, bitter triumph, purge FOMO. Back at it again. No one brackets my home. What can I say? It's my niche, my natural habitat. Is that a one one? Whenever the champion control enters, whenever you fully unlock a room, put a plus one plus one counter card creature. Interesting. There's nowhere but up from here. Let's discard another FOMO. I should just discard duress. What did you draw, opponent? Is it a sheltered by ghosts, an Amber Heart Challenger? And that flips a slick shot show off. I think it's probably too much for them to be. Yeah. Everyone to rest, turn to FOMO, discarding coma. 
think this is a keep. Yo, Vitro, thank you for the follow. Shelter by Ghosts, Case of the Gateway Express. Take the Ghosts. So it's the Convoke deck. Just gonna flash in their 1-1s. One -ones. Ready to casting Frog on 2 and then discarding my whole hand help? Stop doing that. Sometimes you gotta let the frog die. Night Errant? I go Warden of the Inner Sky, Warden of the Inner Sky. Personally, I think that's too much sky. Uh oh. Personally, I think this is too many lands. No rings. Are you playing a uh, Flesh Raker instead? Yeah, I wasn't convinced that deck needed rings. Probably pretty good after the ring gets banned, in fact. The banded orcs. That's fair. So you're like building it similar to like an, an older red green Eldrazi list. Uh oh, Alan goes in danger. Yeah, this is like older red green Eldrazi. Pretty sweet. Yeah, I want to revisit that list again. I'm at three. Uh, kill, kill. Yeah, I'm dead. And one more turn, I can get back the coma and the Atroxa. Sad. All right, bring in the virtue. Bring in the brotherhoods in. Shelly's probably fine. Take out two comas, the Valgavoth. Cruelty of Gigs. Come on, Mono. Come on, buddy. You got this. We know in your heart of hearts you got this. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of Cut down here. I feel like I want to just be using sweepers against them, like the Elder Dragon War and Brotherhood's End. I like Virtue because Virtue gains some life. But I don't think I want a ton of targeted removal in this matchup. Yeah, it's kind of painful. Hey, one. Um, I need to get land drops. Let's discard the preacher. All right, a little bit closer, hitting some land drops. Uh, I don't think we attack here. I think we're trying to be the control role for the time being. How many reinforcements? Yep. Fourth land cliffs, probably. Wouldn't surprise me. Fourth land would let us either double spell removal or hit the Shelly. It's a lot of novice inspectors.
Discard the Coma. Hey, we hit Land Drop and Zombify. Seems good. One more land drop and get a hasty coma. Recruiter, giving everything haste. And discard the other bit of triumph. My stun lands. I'd rather just play Shelly this turn instead of bringing the Koba back. I think so. I might have removal for the Shelly. But if they don't, we're going to gain a lot of life. Makes two two twos. What a fill. This is actually the best format right now. Unironically. Betrayed me with Genshin. It's kind of a bob, you know? Right, bring back the coma. This deck's not terrible, I don't think. You ever untap your coma? That's pretty sweet. And then coma gets an additional combat. Hit you with the water snack. Block, block. I will kill the tutu. Begin combat. Get him, snack. More snack. I ran out of lands to haste the snack token. Cost one. I had another land though. Just cheat? Yeah, you're right. Um, it's a bit. I really don't want these cruelties in my deck. I'd rather have cut downs. Yeah, I think I'd rather have cut down some cruelty. We'll see if uh, Moto lets us get this in in time. Oh, nope. It brought in the duresses. I do have one duress in here. I took a coma out for a duress. Hi, that's me. Person who doesn't know how their cards work. I think after this, we're going to try a different take on the Black White Demons deck. Trying out Fiendish Panda and Zorlin. Um, that's not amazing. We'll try it. I fear we have no sweeper though. Troxa, you're making me look bad. Two people thugging it out for the love of the game. Exactly. There's nothing more beautiful than the low tables. That was a great draw. I was seeing a land drop. I know that's not true, Josie. You're a limited connoisseur. What is this? Resolute Reinforcement, Spyglass Siren. Uh, I guess like Bitter Reunion here. <coughs> 07 camera. That's a great freeze frame. Just leave it like that. Hmm. Hmm. Who'd be thinking about anything? 
Yeah, pucker up, chat. Moi. Yeah, no thoughts. Take this block all day, every day. All right, activating Warden. Yep, Atrox is still in standard. Atrox is gonna be in standard until the end of next year, I think. Dude, I'm dead. How did I miss on land drops? Okay, your turn. Oh dear god. Give him a booster box of the Star Wars TCG. See, that's like a good prize for going over 14. Mono White Mirrors in standard. Eternal Wander is probably pretty good, right? We're just like super pumping this warden. I need like land plus a bitter triumph plus brotherhood's end right now. Okay. Chapter 1. Yeah, that's a mentality that I don't have. That's like Reed Duke mental to keep playing at 0 and 13. Please don't kill me, opponent. I'm getting pretty close to dying. At four, eight that. I can go over the Zombify, but that's pretty weak to them just having interaction. I think I just sweep her here. I think they have negate. A3. I'm taking three going to one. Okay. I go to one. I think that's safer than casting the Brotherhood's End because if I cast the Brotherhood's End, then they have this three four that if they play two more creatures, they could just kill me. All right, time to sweat at one. My best draw here, duress. I think the rest is out though. All right, target my track, so please. No, 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 Sadness. Yeah, if you try to play anything competitive in modern, you're just going to run into energy like 11 times in a row. It very much reminds me of when Scam was like 25-30% of the format. Yeah, bans are in December. I don't know when in December, but sometime in December. Does that change without the ring? I think so. 
I think energy becomes a lot easier to beat once they take the ring out of the equation. But maybe they'll hit something from energy also. I've been responsible for ruining modern twice. Look, I just want to play my fun little cats. Not my fault. I think Child Sun 1 is good against energy. If you can play a turn 1 off of an Ugin's Lab on the play, yes. If not, no. Oh, I'm valid. I haven't reanimated Valkvoth yet, so let's see how good Valkvoth is here. Oh, it was good. Yeah, exactly. You can board wipe energy and they're not going to have 10,000 cards in hand still. Don't get me wrong, the whole like Ajani Goblin Bombardment stuff is still going to be really strong. But I don't think it's going to be as bad without the ring. I just want to hit submit. I feel like I should probably bring in some amount of counterplay to Ghost Vacuum. Oh, they scooped the match. They did not want to play anymore. Yep, confirmed. Valgavoth better than Koma. My opponent never instantly conceded when I put a Koma into play. On its mulliganing to five. We need some doubters in here. Any doubters in chat? You yeah, know, I've never played with Valgavoth before, so it could very easily just be better than Koma. Hey, they're gonna let me discard my Atroxa to Zombify it back. Thanks, opponent. They're playing the ha Harmless Offering deck, and we don't have that much interaction for the Harmless Offering deck. Turns out Black Red can't interact with enchantments very well. No, I'm not doing your homework, Zeriak. Liliana? What the heck? Land! Let's go! Misclick on the preacher. That'd be so sad. Grab a swamp. Mmm, Balgavoth, Elder Dragon War. I oh, maybe want FOMO instead or Bitter Reunion. No, we already have Bitter Reunion. Maybe take a Bitter Triumph. Eh, I'll take the Elder Dragon War. Okay, your turn. I think the Lord of the Rings set was cool. I think some of the cards were horribly balanced, but it was cool. Complaints of the set overall, really. One ring makes me upset, but everything else is fine. And Bone Masters is really good, but it's nothing crazy. Discarded all my reanimator targets. I think we're just gonna gigs back the Valgavoth. Seems very hard for them to kill. I'm 
just going to read ahead to the chapter three. I guess I could cast it on chapter one and keep their hand, but I'm not sure I care too much about their hand. Surprise one top, one bottom. Really ought to be kind of annoying, though. Oh, Chalk is probably better. Gotta get the bull. Two of them out of the graveyard, anyways. If they Lily minus, so it doesn't really matter. Nothing really matters. Despair. All right. <clears throat> Mono black something or other. My frames. No, I dropped all my frames on the floor, chat. Oh, 1,600 of them. Come on, internet. Come on, buddy. Rally back. Rally back, internet. Ooh, internet's having a bad time. All right, internet rallied back. Let's go. Where the rest is in? I don't think the red-black harm is offering deck after all. I think it's like a mono-black control deck. And I don't know what I want against that deck. I'll just do this. I don't know if I want cut down actually. Bring the Shellies over the cut downs. Maybe. What's the point of dropping frames if it's not gonna freeze on the right frame? My opponent disconnected. Is this the old 1 2 into 2 DCs league? No, the internet. Come back, internet. Come back. Like your goofy standard deck. Now nah, mid-range beans. Got a Beza, you got some Overlord, 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 Day of Judgment, get Lost, Lightning Helix, Luminous Rebuke, Herbrass Forge, Beans, Leyline Binding. I think I'm on board with everything except for the Herbrass Forge. I think instead of the Herbrass Forge, I'd be interested in slotting in some number of Caretakers Gallants plus uh, Carrot Cakes. I think that's what I'd want to be. Over maybe... Luminous Rebuke and uh, Herbrass Forge. I think Carry Cake's a crazy card. So much value in that card. It's like a mini bank buster. Not really, but with Caretaker Salon, it is. I have really bad rabbit PTSD. So does the internet. Well. On the plus side chat, one more week until no more PA internet. I should have a stable connection after this week. Going back home. I want to also DC. Please internet. Work with me. Alright chat, I'm going to use the restroom all my phone's AFK. And the internet's dying. I'll be right back. Alright, how many thousands of frames did we lose? 13,000 frames. Uh. All right, do we stabilize though? Seems like we might have stabilized. Four percent of this entire stream was dropped. That's so sad. You only get ninety six percent of me. It's like equity. What up, Jay Sanchez? One hundred percent young ding. No O's. I think the internet's having a tough time because it's like storming outside. But that's on deep analysis in the Demir decks. In modern or standard? Wait, deep analysis isn't standard. I think deep analysis was one of the worst cards when I was playing the frog decks, and I wouldn't really want to play it again. It always felt really clunky when you didn't have frog, and if you did have frog, it felt like a win more card. Internet, please. Opponent, please. I haven't tried it with Kiora. I tried it before Kiora got printed in the frog decks and I just didn't really like it. No, it's me. It's me. It's raining and this internet's having a tough time in the rain. I guess I'm gonna go get the next deck loaded up because our opponent's just gone. We'll adjust it a little bit. There's a few cards I wanna change. 
out of this black white mid range deck that I think could be pretty sweet. I really like a Johnny Call of the Bride, and I want to play that card for sure. I think giving double strike to the Arch of the Dross is really sweet. Not sure about Fiendish Panda though. It's a bear demon. Whenever this creature dies, return to the target non bear creature with value less than or equal to this creature's power from the graveyard to the battlefield. I think this card's bad. I think I'd rather be playing with Desecration Demon instead. Whenever bad, you control attacks, you gain one life whenever it enters or attacks. You may pay black, white, and two life if you do return to target down that permanent map value three or less from a graveyard to the battlefield with a finality counter on it. I don't know if I like that card either. I do like Legion of Ashes though. I think Legion of Ashes is a sweet card. Oh, our opponent played a land. Our opponent's back. Let's get rid of our five mana spell. Liliana of the Veil, Liliana Dreadhorde General, Shieldred. Take Liliana of the Veil. Unblockable Bogle. I mean, so the problem with Bogles is that Bogles have gotten a lot of counterplay get printed for them. A lot of very cheap sweepers and two for one creatures that can easily just block it and render it useless. I am not a fan of lists like this, which are just trying to go all in on one creature. I think there's just too many answers for something like this. I like that you like went away from the enchantment angle because I think enchantments are easily answered. But I think it's going to be very, very hard to one-shot somebody with a Bogle if you're not using that effect route. There's that one, uh, have you considered a Tainted Strike? Because that gives a creature infect. That might be easier to kill somebody with. I'm taking one action every five minutes. So let's cut the pandas. I think we cut the Zoralines. But I like the idea of the Ajani. I think I want more Legion to Ashes. That card was crazy good for me when I was playing it. I also just want to try Desecration Demon out. I just think Desecration Demon and the Johnny Call of the Pride are just so sweet together. It seems like a lot of Caustic Broncos as well. Even that card, Double Strike, seems fine too. We're pumping it. I'm in the bad suite. Let's go down to Bronco. I'm going to go up in a Johnny. Should we play the cool Johnnies? Am I allowed to? I'm allowed to. I really like a Johnny Call of the Bride. It's probably one of my favorite Planeswalkers of all time. But I think I want to try something like this for Black White Demons. Are there any more Noids? Oh, it's still gone. Desecration of Demons is going to have its matchups where it's good, and it's going to have a lot of matchups where it's not great either. But I just want to see how strong this card is in current standard. I have such fond memories of this beautiful, beautiful creature. I feel like it's got to be better than Fiendish Panda. Let's go the Elder Dragon War. Let's go Zombify. Yeah, like I imagine it's pretty bad against the Convoke decks. It says all just mid range mashes. I honestly think that. Like, the just mid-range gameplay of Standard right now is very fun to me. But I'm also just a mid-range gamer in general. I love smacking mediocre mid-range decks into other mediocre mid-range decks. Model Black Devotion became the best deck. That deck was so sick. Back Rat, Underworld Connections, Grey Merchant. Hey, these never-ending games. Honor is also kind of feels like a never ending game where you just get ring looped over and over and over. And you just die after that. At least this is way more interactive than just being ring looped. Going back being AFK. 
Look at the mad base here. Caves, courtyard, the fortresses, the shadowy back streets. Yeah, this mad base looks fun. I think I have anything against this mana base. Knight of Grace. Let's read Knight of Grace. Oh, Hexproof from Black. It's probably fine on the sideboard, right? Oh, I kind of like the way the sideboard's set up right now. The first card that I was interested in was uh, Sheltered by Ghosts. I think this card's crazy. I don't know if we have enough creatures to actually, like, utilize it effectively, but I think this card is just crazy strong. Yeah, this is White Black Demons. Yeah, I think that card's great. Our opponent's still AFK. Is equipment good and standard? There's a red white enchantment sec. It's not equipment, like artifact based equipment, but that's a fine deck. Yeah, I really wanted to try Desecration Demon because it's new to standard. I'm not sure it got a lot of love. Ollie! Speaking of getting a lot of love, thank you for the giant raid, Ollie. Appreciate that. We're finishing up our reanimator league and then we're gonna jam some white black demons after this uh could discard a rocks or sorry discard shield root here and then reanimate later anyways that's kind of an awkward spot for us i had the bitter triumph for the lily they thought he's bugged this lily too. Also, we're up a game and our opponent has five minutes left. I don't think my opponent will be winning this game just off of time alone. I want to keep all the cards in my hand so I don't have to discard the Zombify. Reunion, I'm pretty happy to discard. Bye bye, better reunion. It's been real. I don't know what happened to our opponent this game, but they disconnected a few times, so I guess they're having like internet issues, as I have been. Koma. They didn't do anything with the Lily. They didn't plus, they didn't minus. Interesting. I feel like they probably should have minus, maybe. Killed my preacher. They want to keep the Lily on a Dreadhorde General in their hand, which I get. I think they just minus there. Makes it 2 2. Balgabath. Whenever I'm reanimating, I think I have to give haste. I don't think I get to reanimate anything right now because I just get double edict about this Lily. Because I got attacked down with the Preacher. I was having connection issues, I guess. Which is the massive clock difference here. Braxian Arena. Oh, it's got a spicy list. Oh, we'll discard a Valgaboth. Uh... Gotta be Valgaboth, right? And I just take the Liliana Dreadhorde General. Mm. 
na idik dem cast the preacher. Oh, each player sacrifices two creatures. Never mind. We'll make a token instead. Thought it was each opponent. I don't want to sack my Valgabod. What is this? Bandit talent? Whenever opponent or each opponent discards two cards unless they discard non land. Okay. Sure. Draw an additional card for each opponent has one or fewer cards in hand. So they're playing like eight rack. But Liliana Tribal? Cool list. Weird list. Cool list. I 5 0 with Burn the other day, and we 4 1 with the Green Black Demons deck. Those are probably the best two decks I've played so far. I haven't gotten to the Overlord deck, which I think is really strong right now. I haven't played Mono White yet. I think we do the each player sacks too. The rest, the rest. So I get to attack the Lily, cast the Lily, plus the Lily, cast the Shieldred. I could cast Shieldred pre edicting, draw or gain some life. That's okay. I am Lily on a tribal now, not you, opponent. It's me. It always has been me. Your lilies, our lilies. Discarded the rest just to get the loyalty up, then we'll pass the turn. And draw an additional card and then lose more life. Again, they're still at two minutes, and I don't think they can win two games in two minutes. I'd be very impressed. In fact, I don't think they're going to win this game in infinite minutes. I lose two life. Am I missing something? Oh, they're not just dead on board. Make a zomboy. Alright, we got there. Despite the 20 minute clock discrepancy. Took a while. Prediction. Got the believers. Uh, reanimator was pretty sweet. I thought it was a little bit inconsistent, and I also think Valgavoth is just way better than Como. Como was cute, but I think I'd be on four Valgavoth over the first coma even so i probably cut the comas completely maybe play four valgaboth and then one itali maybe i think there's a lot better reanimator targets than coma coma didn't really do much it was cool when you had fobo out but everything's gotta be good when you have fobo out and you get to attack twice with it so that would be my assessment of this deck would be cut the comas play more valgaboths because valgaboth kind of just ended the game very quickly but Let's move over to some uh, black white mid range chat. Black white demons. Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third rate duelist. I can't take it anymore. <laughs>